What's up guys, Totally Dubbed here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to modify your JVP theme. Uh, this is by um, a post made by Omator on the XDA forums, and basically he changed uh, several things. However, on the latest Darky JVP made by uh, Fisetto, uh, version 4, uh, CWM Flashable, uh, the, the, all of these are included. Um, however, I'm just putting this for reference, just in case you guys want to know how to change your battery icon uh, or your uh, lock screen, um, I'll show you now how to do it. So uh, first of all, what we're going to do is uh, download uh, the stock animations of a JVP, uh, Deodext, I'm going to press direct download. So there's the mods that um, Omator has made. Um, and the restore file of JVP. So uh, the restore file of JVP is when you install stock JVP, as in, um, or, well, nothing's been installed, even Facetta's thing hasn't been installed. So install those two, um, sorry, download those two, and uh, we're going to download a lock screen mod, which is basically uh, the Android lock screen as the default one. Uh, on both of these versions are the um, glass lock screen and uh, we're gonna download a different battery so um, in this case you know you can choose this one you can choose you know, two three four different batteries I'm gonna choose the CWM7 style battery um, it's almost similar to one that um, that uh, Facetto ha has however the charging icon is a little bit different uh, as you can see the uh, the the icon the number whilst it's charging, so um, so now what we're gonna do, we've got these uh, four files is uh, create folders um, simply just to help us know how to uh, manage our, our files. So we'll put Android, we'll put stock, and we'll put CM7. Once you've done that, you want to copy you want to put the restore file separately because we're not going to touch that at all and um, drag these into stock right open up stock cm7 and android and copy across the tiny gb mod once that's done rename um, this for example cm7 and then re rename this android this is simply because to give ourselves references makes it easier for us to do. So first of all, let's try and change the battery. So on the uh, CM7 one, we open the CM7 folder, open that uh, that file, and over here in the stock um, folder, we have the CM7 batteries. So we open that, we open this, and we're left with this. So what you want to do is select all apart from the top folder, and then go over here in the CM7 one go into framework framework res apk another pop-up will open open res go down and drawable hdpi open that now all you want to do is drag and drop press ok and this will pop up press yes and the file size over here will change as you saw and there we go it's as simple as that that's how you change your battery icons so uh, for future reference if you want to change your battery icons that's how you do it um, and now what we're going to do is change the uh, lock screen so we're going to open up the Android one go into system framework and just stay there and you can see Android policy over here and there's Android policy that and there all we want to do is drag and drop 141202 is the original file size it's going to change to 205, there we go, and there you go, you've changed the lock screen. So um, it's as simple as that, how to change the lock screen and the um, the battery icons. If, for example, you want Android lock screen and battery icons, well, then just follow the same principle that you did before, as I'm showing you now. And there we go. Now we've got on this file we've got Android lock screen, um, and we've got the CM7 style batteries. And so now all you want to do is um, choose the one you want or the one you made. For example, I don't know if I want this one, I'm going to copy this and the restore file into your internal SD. So for example, 
I'll put in my Samsung Galaxy S now. You'll see I've already got two inside the Samsung Galaxy S. Um, but, uh, you'll see what I mean now. There we go. So I'll delete these just to avoid confusion. Right, and so now we want to copy this and this across. across there we go the reason we put the restore one is just in case anything goes wrong and we get into a boot loop we can easily go back into recovery and restore the files so it's very easy to do that so um, I hope you've enjoyed this video it took uh, me and Goldie a good like three hours uh, last night to figure it out and in that time uh, Facetidus came along released a ROM and released these changes <laughs> we're just complete noobs at that but uh, that, that was fun, it, at least we know how to do it now, so if, if any time we want to change the, uh, uh, the lock screen and uh, whatnot, it's uh, easy to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, um, I hope it's helped you. Uh, please do rate, comment and subscribe, and uh, totally dubbed out. See you soon guys, bye bye.